Sempre de ar. I'm Professor Ibrahim Sempre. In this video, I want to show you how to enter a purchase transaction on account. To enter a purchase transaction on account, we have to click on the purchases step. And then we need to enter the purchases. But before we do that, because it is on account from a supplier, we need to enter the supplier's details. To enter supplier's details, we need to click on the card file where the supplier's details will be recorded. So therefore, we click on the card file. On the card file, then we click on card lists. On the card list, the tabs on top shows customer, supplier, employee, and personnel. Because it's a supplier, I'm going to click on that type supplier. And then I'm going to click, it's a new supplier, and at the bottom, there's new, I click new. Then I look at my supplier, here's my supplier, bought 50,000 beverages from ABC supplier, and gives the credit terms, and also the address. So going back here, I will say here, ABC supplier, ABC supplier. And then I click OK. When I click OK, ABC supplier appears, just the name, but I need to enter details. To enter details, I click on the arrow, the left arrow here, onto the left side of the ABC supplier. Now it gives me the details to enter. So I've got the address here of the supplier, let's say 100 Kent Street, Sydney. So I come here, I type here 100 Kent Street, Sydney, and state is New South Wales, postcode is 2000, and Australia is the country. And then I can look at the car details. Then the buyer details. Here on buyer details, I need to enter an important item here, ABN. Australian business number is required and the supplier must provide that number. If the supplier does not provide that number, then the tax will be charged at the highest rate. So we type the Australian business number or the ABN and as 11, I'm just making up here. So two ones and three of ones, three of ones and three of ones. And this supply is subjected to goods and services tax, GST. And if I click on this tab, it gives different rates of GST, but the default rate is 10% for most of the products and services. So I'll leave that there. And then I have the credit terms. So the credit terms that the supplier has offered 
is 60 days maximum 30 days if paid within 30 days if settled within 30 days supply will offer 1% discount so I'm going to now update that payment due I will change this to number of days so number of days here's the number of days and the discount days is 30 and the balance due date maximum is 60 and the percentage of discount is 1% so that's, that's the details that we have from the supplier 1% 30 days is the discount period 60 days is the maximum period and then I will look at payment details uh, let's assume that that the uh, business will pay by check so we don't need to enter the BSP the bank details of the supplier and then we say OK now we have got supply details and then we close this window and go back to the purchases now we are ready to enter purchases and we click on enter purchases now it takes us to a screen where we can choose supplies select supplies we have now created ABC supplier we say use supplier we clicked on the drop down arrow of the supplier and then chose from there the ABC supplier then it has the purchase number and the due date the due the the transactions the transaction date the transaction date is for 5th of July so I'm going to change the transaction transaction date to 5th of July 2014 then I come here all right here beverages and then I tap when I tap goes to accounts where there's a drop down menu when I open that the chart of accounts open and I can choose the cost of sales beverages I choose that and then I use that account cost of sales beverages and then I can enter the amount the amount is 50,000 so let me enter 50,000 so I record that amount so I have recorded that amount so I will now go back by clicking on cancel let's look at the other on 30th of July ABC suppliers settle the account so to settle the account 30th of go here to pay the bills now the business is paying the bill so click on pay bills and choose the supplier it is ABC supplier and we can now see the amount that's due 50,000 and the date we are going to pay that is 30th of July 2014 here's the date now we can see here that the amount is less than 50,000 and it is 49,500 so I'm going to write here 49,500 and that's the amount of check that we are going to pay and then I click on amount apply so that's the amount I'm going to apply against the amount O 49,500 
and the total applied will become 49,500 and I clicked on one of the cells down here you can click anywhere and then uh, total applied becomes 49,500 and then I record that and now it says payment includes one discount 1% 1 discount will result in one debit memo and here it's asking me whether to print that debit memo I will say print later so it has now recorded I'll say cancel to go back because I don't need to enter another record so I'll say cancel now if I want to look at the transactions about the purchases that is the purchases and the payment to suppliers for the purchases I can go the transaction journal I see here the initial purchase from the supplier 50,000 and then the discount that was given by the supplier and here's the discount that was given by the supplier and and the discount that was recorded so we can see here the amount that has to be paid was 49,500 so I close this and that's how you record purchase transactions on account and then paying for those purchase transactions on account by the business